In James 2, 5, the Lord is commending the poor. He says, has not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith? And of course, as you know, faith is what we need. It says without faith, it is impossible for us to please God. So God has chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of his kingdom. And he has said this in his word very plainly. And so I want to just share a little time when God is, God has shown that to me. He is, he will back up his word with his own power, with his own faithfulness. Please bear with me as I have to explain this, uh, this little story. So this was years ago. We were in debt. And frankly, a Christian should, should not be in debt. They should do everything they can not to be in debt. There may be some times some small debt may have to be allowed for something. That's between you and the Lord. But really, Christians should stay out of debt because it creates a bondage that will only pull us away, pull us down. And uh, the only one we should owe uh, is the Lord. And of course, he, is, he has paid it all. So it was years ago, my wife and I were in debt and we had just started jobs. I think at this time we had each been at our new jobs about a month. But we were looking at this, we had our debts and we were under strong conviction to pay off our debts. This is what we had to do. You know, in America, we tend to live with debt. God really doesn't want us to do that. And we had lived with debt for a long time. So it wasn't just a matter of making payments, but to pay them off. And there were quite a few. So at any time, this, at, at any rate, this one day I was home by myself and I was praying about this. We had only been at our jobs for a couple a month each. And we didn't really know what to expect in terms of pay and take home pay that we could apply. But I felt convicted we needed to try to pay off three debts. There were three specific debts. And, and I thought, can we pay off these three debts within two months? But I didn't really know what our income would be. And I could only, I mean, I could only guess. Some of that, my wife's hours were, were variable. Mine were a little variable, but I still wasn't familiar with what was going to happen. And so we were waiting to see, and I gave this to the Lord asking him, I said, oh Lord, you know, help me to figure this out. Can we pay off these three debts within, within two months? And I did my absolute best to go through, to go through this. Now at this time also, I just want to mention, it will come into play later. I also needed a new pair of work boots. It's very important to have a good pair of work boots for the job that I was on. And they were, they are typically $70. That was the regular price. And uh, sometimes you could get a deal on them, but most of the time you were just paying the regular price of 70. And so I was, I was praying. I was, I was just trying as hard as I could going through the expenses, you know, the, the rent, the food, the electric, all of these things. And as I came through the two months, what it looked like to me, was we would be, in my estimation, we were going to be a little short. We could make it, like I said, I, I was unsure of our income. We could make it. And I said, Lord, I'm going to believe you for the rest. We are going to go forward paying these three debts with your help. I said, I know you want us to pay them. Please help us. So I committed that to the Lord. And I got up from my station that I was figuring this, this out at. And I was leaving the room and I said, well, of course that doesn't leave any money for boots. Because that wasn't figured into the, you know, it's just built. But, but that way we could pay our three debts. It was only a minute or so. I heard a knock. I heard a knock at the door. It was our neighbor from across the street. A young woman from across the street. Now the situation here was this. I mowed, I mowed the grass in the neighborhood for a few different people. I did it very cheaply, which is one reason they liked me. I was trying to be a help to people that needed someone to uh, cut the grass. I wasn't trying to make a living on it, or it would have been $30 a pop. I was doing it for $10 at a, at a time. The situation with them was this. If their grass needed to be cut, I would go over 
and ask if they wanted their if if they wanted the grass to be cut because sometimes money could be an issue and i didn't like to spring that on people they would usually say yes they would get twenty dollars and give it to me one for that time and then of course the next time of course you know the atms usually give twenty dollar bills so that was the standing situation with them and i did that because they could be difficult in paying money. They were with the person that had done it before them. And so I got a knock on the door. And here's this young woman came to the door. She hands me $40. $40 to mow their grass. This never happened. And they didn't need the grass mowed. It was, it was in, I had just mowed it not that long before. And I was only mowing about every two weeks trying to save the money. She said, well, I had this money. I figured, why not pay you? You're going to be mowing our grass anyway. This never happened before. So there's $40. And I start thinking, you know, there was a neighbor behind me who had just injured himself. He had, a, he had a small injury, I think, from a motorcycle accident. He wasn't going to be able to mow the grass for, for uh, he asked me to mow it for the next two times, the next two times. And so I thought, and we hadn't talked further about it. I said, you know, I'm going to go mow his grass now. <laughs> and so I went down there and I mowed his grass. As he was coming home in his car, he saw me mowing. He turned around. He went out to the bank and he came back with $20. Now I've got $60. The next day was my payday. And it was $14 above what I had calculated. So you can see. You can see what the Lord does when you are poor, when you depend on him. There it was. I just could scarcely approach paying off these debts within two months. And I had no money uh, allocated for the boots for two months. But within 24 hours, I had enough. You see, I would have been thankful to go and pay for my and just be able to get a, uh, a pair of boots but you know something god gets a whole lot more glory when we depend on him psalm 50 verse 15 says and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me so don't be afraid when you are poor you are in a great position to know the lord the way he desires you to may god bless